Hey, hey, and welcome to Fun Swedish, our YouTube channel. Learning Swedish can be very tricky, but what makes it even trickier is when Swedes use abbreviations. And you can find these abbreviations everywhere, in the metro, in the street, and in all kinds of email. So to save you some time and confusion, in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the most common abbreviations and their meaning. In Swedish, we have many abbreviations. Till exempel, till exempel. This is our first abbreviation today. Text is the short version of till exempel. For example, you can see this one in written Swedish, but when we read it out loud, we actually say till exempel. Our second abbreviation, OBS. OBS is the abbreviation, the short version of observera. For example, OBS nymålat. This is our way to say watch out, be careful, fresh paint. By putting this sign OBS nymålat, the Swedes want to make sure that you're careful so you don't get paint all over yourself. Or in this example, OBS can innehålla spår av nötter. And this phrase is very important for our followers with a nut allergy because it means may contain traces of nuts. So here this OBS is a way to say that you should watch out. Okay, so let's move on. Nummer tre, PGA. This one is a very common one in Sweden. You're gonna see it almost everywhere. And it does not mean that we're obsessed with golf. So what does PGA mean in Swedish? PGA stands for på grund av. And på grund av means literally on the ground of. This is how we say due to or because of. So when you're explaining maybe that the meeting is canceled due to something, then we use this PGA på grund av. This one is very common to see in the metro. For example, tåget är försenat på grund av en snöstorm. This means the train is delayed due to a snowstorm. This happens very often in Sweden. 2020 was really a year of PGA. For example, eventet är inställt på grund av covid-19. The event was cancelled due to COVID-19. Nummer fyra. KL. Kl. Kl is the abbreviation for klockan. The clock. In Swedish, we talk about the time in a different way. In English, you would, for example, say we open at one. But in Swedish, on the other hand, we say we open clock one. So, KL is the abbreviation of klockan. And remember, we kind of use klockan instead of at. But we're going to talk more about the time and how it works in Swedish in another video. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss that. Nummer fem. Maybe you have seen this. Maybe you have seen Swedish people write bla. What is bla? Bla, bla, bla. No. Bla is how we say among other things. It's very common to see in work-related emails. For example, på mötet ska vi bla, bland annat, prata om semesterplanering. This kind of means on the meeting, we're going to discuss, among other things, the vacation schedule. Nummer six. This one is very common to see in the supermarket. Avocado, 15 kronor styck. And this styck is written ST in its abbreviation. Styck is how we say per unit. So basically, here they're selling the avocados, 15 crowns each avocado. So if you see ST in the supermarket, then you know we're talking about unit. And actually, the supermarket is the place where you can see many of these abbreviations. Sometimes you might also see KG, kilo. Because in Sweden, we use kilo when we uh, go to the supermarket. Another example is HJ, and that is hectogram, which is 100 grams. Number seven, 
And actually, in this supermarket example, avocado 15 kronor styck, we have another abbreviation, KR. KR stands for crowns, which is the Swedish currency. So when you see KR in the supermarket, then we're talking about money, Swedish money. You can also see SEK, SEK. That's also another abbreviation for our currency, the crowns. Nummer åtta. This one is one of my favorites. And it's very, very Swedish. Vab. Vab stands for vård av barn, which means care of child. What is that? Vab is sick leave, but when your child is sick. So it basically means that you don't go to work because you're home taking care of your child and getting paid for it. Is one of these benefits we have in Sweden. If you work in Sweden or have Swedish colleagues, then you might have seen this. Var är Anders? Han är på vab. Where is Anders? He's vabbing. Again, which means being home with his sick child and getting paid for it. This concept of vab is so common that Swedes have even created a verb for it. Vab a. So just by putting an a, you created a verb. Att vabba. To vab. Vad är Anders? Han vabbar. So remember, if you heard this vabba, then it means that your colleague is not available. And this concept of vab has created many new words in Swedish. For example, vabrari. Vabrari is the mix between vab and februari. Vabrari. Why do we use this term? Well, February is the time of the year when most children are sick in Sweden. And that's why so many parents need to take care of them. So that's why the parents need to take VAB. And that's why we have this concept, VABRARI. Nummer nio. MVH. I have actually already mentioned this in our previous video, but I'm going to mention it again because it's so common. MVH is the abbreviation for med vänliga hälsningar which is how we say with kind regards or with friendly greetings. Very common when you finish an email. Nummer tio. Osa. This is a weird one. But Osa is the Swedish version of RSVP. And for those who don't know what RSVP means or Osa, it is when you have got an invitation and they want you to say yes or no if you're going to attend or not. For example, Osa innan den 11 januari. So that means RSVP before the 11th of January. Osa stands for om svar anhållet. But we normally just say Osa. And this one is super important so you don't miss out all the fun, exciting events that hopefully will happen this year. So that was the list of many common abbreviations we use in Swedish. And there might be more. We're going to talk about them in another video. So, hope you liked it. If you did, like it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it before. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week.